Hi guys, welcome back to Lou's Beauty Closet. If this is your first time here, hi, I'm Lou. I post weekly beauty videos. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. And if you're already subscribed, ring that bell so you don't miss out on any videos. Without further ado, let's get into it. So it's Gemini season, you guys can probably tell. So Gemini sigil is the twins. Gemini is an air sign and Mercury is the ruling planet. Mercury is a planet of communication and the predominant color for Gemini's is yellow, as you can tell, but also light green as well. And some qualities of some Gemini's. So you guys are talk talkative people, you're fun people, you have really upbeat nature, you lift up people's spirits whenever you're around. You guys are sociable people, you're just in general fun really. So with all that out the way, I'll show you how I got this look coming up. Um, so for today we'll be using the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. I know I keep using Natasha Denona products, but I love them. And quite frankly, they were expensive, so I've got to use them. <laughs> so we'll be using this beautiful palette and also the um, Supernova shadow from Colourpop, their liquid eyeshadow in the shade Astrology. This is the Kathleen Lights collab. Obviously, if you have these kind of shades in other palettes, feel free to use them. You don't have to specifically use this palette. And yeah, let's crack into the look. So I'm taking my Natasha Denona brush number 12. It's basically like a really thick, it's a short, it's a, basically like a packing brush, really a domed packing brush, but really dense one. So we're just gonna take this shade in the gold palette, in the sunset palette. We're taking the shade Igneous. If you have the gold palette, this shade is in there too. It's called Log. So it's just like a cool toned brown, basically. Really dark, cool toned brown. Pack it on the brush, and we're just going to place it on our outer third of our eye, bring it up and wing it out a bit. So we're just going to place it down into my MAC 217 brush, just a fluffy fluffy blending brush. The Zoeva 227 is a good dupe for this brush. And I'm just going to blend that brown. So winging the shadow out, whilst blending it inwards. We don't want to take it too far in on the lower lash line part. And it's okay if you have a funky shape like I do because it's going to help when you put the lid shade on and you blend it. So don't, does it need to be perfect? So we're just winging it out, blending it outwards. So I've just picked up a little bit more just to help us blend. I've just concentrated, I've laid it down in the outer corner and I'm just blending it in. When you pat the shadow down, pat, try and pat it really specifically and really small because when you blend it out anyway, it's going to move and deviate from there. If you're getting close to your inner corner, just lighten off the pressure on your brush. And you're just blending the remnants of the shadow in the middle inward. You're just concentrating most of the colour on this outer, outer V area. So I'm just switching back to that original Natasha Denona brush just to pick up more. And I'm just going to pat more down here. I'm switching back to my MAC 217. So once you're happy with the blend, we are going to switch brushes now to my flat packing brush that I use to pack on shimmery shadows. So it's a MAC 242. And we're going into the Sunset Palette again and we're taking this shade Mandarin. And it's just this sparkly tangerine orangey shade up here. So we're just going to take, pick that shade up on the flat packer brush and we're placing that on our lid but we're stopping at about here at our inner corner area when I get up to that brown I've blended I'm just going to stop slightly because when we blend the two together wait, it's going to move anyway so I don't want it hiding that brown too much and I am overlapping this brown a teensy bit because I know I need to blend so I reckon if we stop about there so just keep going back and forth into the shadow building it up until you're happy with the intensity so now I'm going to take my 217 that I was blending with. I'm going to take a tiny bit of Igneous, the brown, cool matte brown we were using before. Just a, just a smidge. And we're just going to blend where these two shadows meet and blend upwards as well. If you feel like you've lost a bit of intensity, you can go back into Mandarin or your orange and just pat a bit in that center, center space. So for this one, I'm actually using my Sonia G Pencil Pro brush. So taking this shade here called Sundays, it's like a gold, but like a cool gold. I don't know, cool tone gold, really bright gold. 
yellowy gold. So we're just going to dip into that and we're just going to place that on the gap left on our eye, on our eye space, so our inner corner area. So we're now going to take a liner brush. So I'm taking my Zoeva 317 wing liner brush. It's just a nice short brush. It tapers to a nice point. And I'm going into that um, Supernova shadow by a colourful called Astrology. So it's just like yellowy gold kind of shade. And we're using it just because it's wet. So we're basically going to draw a wing liner on our upper lash line. And then we're going to, then we go back into the Sunset palette and we're going to take the shade Soul, this yellow here. And we're just going to pack it onto the shadow whilst it's wet so you have to be quite quick if you haven't got this palette again the huda beauty electric obsessions palette has a good yellow colourpop has a whole palette i think it's called yes please and it's kind of a dupe to the sunset palette they've got a yellow in there so just pick up the product and then just draw a line basically just draw a wing liner whilst it's still wet we're going in with our natasha denona number four brush it's just a really short packing shader brush and we're going into that yellow called soul to pack it on top of the wet liner we just laid down a brown shade called volcano it's just this warm matte brown so any warm matte brown that you have in your collection and i'm actually just using my sonia g crease pro brush because i've run out of all my pencil brushes so i'm just going to take that and just run it along my lower lash line because this brush actually has a nice point at the bottom even though it's a crease brush i'm going to take igneous just a tiny tiny bit of that cool matte we've put up here I'm just going to blend it in the outer part. That's it. And then we're just going to put some mascara and on our upper and lower lashes. Um, if you would like to put lashes on, go for it. Just using the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. All right, so that's the eyes done. So we'll just finish with our face. Again, scrape my Hourglass Primer. I'm on the last bit of it, my Hourglass Veil Primer. Going to be using the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I'm in the shade Macau. And I'm just using my Hourglass Vanish brush to blend that out. I'm going to set that with our Hourglass Veil Powder. I'm going to use our two, none other than our Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Maple. We're just going to use the matching powder from the collection in translucent medium to set my under eye. Next we're going to bronze our face. So I'm using my Galan Terracotta Bronzer in the shade 9 Intense and I'm using my MAC 140 brush to bronze my face. Whoopsies, I forgot a step. So I did my brow bone highlight using the sh um, shade we used on our inner corner, Sundays. So I'm just popping down my brow bone. Then for highlight and glow, we're using the Anastasia and Weezy collab. And we're just popping that on my high point to my cheeks with my Wayne Goss number 19 brush. I like switching brushes for all sorts of things. Then we're doing blush, we're using the same brush and we're going into Hourglass Brilliant Nude. So that's the first step, so we're layering. And then we're using NARS Dolce Vita and we're placing that on top with the same brush. So I just flip it to the other side. And when you put blush over the glowy blushes, it gives you a really nice glow as well. And for lips, we're going to use Max Hover Lip Pencil. So we're just going to line our lips with that. And then I'm going to fill them in with the Urban Decay Lipstick in Wildfire. It's a metallized shade. It's like a tangerine orange kind of shade. Um, this one is not actually available at Mecca. I had to get this one from America. So Sephora USA stocks it and I had to just get a personal shopper to ship it to me. All right, so this is the finished look. What did you guys think? Did I do you guys justice? I know you guys will not hesitate to tell me. Comment below if you are a Gemini and what did you think of this? Would you wear this look? If you're not a Gemini, still comment below. I'd love for you guys to weigh in and to continue the chat in the discussion down below. It's always difficult with Zodiacs because, you know, people, some people are one way and would wear something. Others would not. Other people feel it doesn't represent them. But in general, Geminis are really fun people. And I kind of just wanted to, um, to you know, 
embody that in the look with the fun colored liner the really out there lippy even the hoops everything so hope you guys enjoyed that on your way out if you're not already hit that subscribe button i'd love for you to be part of the fam and if you're already part of the fam ring that bell so you don't miss out on any videos can't wait to see you back here again guys thank you so much for watching until next time bye Thank you.